Yo, what's going on everybody and welcome to another video. I just recorded this for 25 minutes and I wanted to cut it down a little bit. Now, of course, this video is going to be talking about Soar, but I'm also going to be talking about a few other things. A lot of people question, why did you leave Soar? People still call me Soar Kobe and stuff, and that's fine. So in the beginning, I got picked up May 22nd on my birthday in 2019 when Revex, a sniper in Call of Duty, one of my idols who I looked up to back in the Call of Duty days, if you look at my channel, I went for recruitment challenges for Soar and multiple orgs back in the day in 2015 and 16. So when I had this opportunity to join, I took it. A couple months down the line, I became the talent manager because I knew so many content creators and I knew the path that they were all headed. And uh, the first three people I picked up were Finicky, Jenks, and Dalton. So obviously then we picked up Johnny and Calamity and Chicken and all these people. And then I hosted the 2020 recruitment challenge. Now in that recruitment challenge, I didn't have the full yes or no for who gets to go in. We had that voting system, but the higher ups get to pick, obviously. I'm just the talent manager. I'm the one who sets things up. I watched 1000 videos in a Google doc. I spent hours after streaming every day watching your guys's response and it hurt me to see the 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 hate and lash that i got back after that recruitment challenge so i dropped down from my talent manager position because uh people don't understand behind the scenes what's actually going on after a while you know we we were all happy a year and a half or two go down the line and um you know we decided we wanted to go our different way now yeah dre spooky a few people stayed um, you know, that's their decision. Soar is still, they have great people. Mac, Daz, and Crude, amazing people. Uh, also Revex, shout out to you. I always looked up to Soar. I kind of just wanted to go my own way and everybody else felt the same. Dalton deserved a lot more and I felt bad for putting him in that position because I picked him up before he was even pulling a thousand viewers on Twitch. I knew the potential he had, his entertainment, his comedy, his gameplay, he has it all. That's why he's in TSM right now. So I felt bad because I kind of cock blocked him from joining a bigger org. But now I'm I'm so happy to see the videos that TSM are putting out on YouTube and Dalton being involved in it. It is, it makes me happy. It, do, it truly does. Another question that I get asked a lot is why don't you play with Jenks or iTemp and all these people anymore? Um, so as content creators, you guys might not know, but we don't play that much. We have to edit videos and make thumbnails. And I, every day I wake up at 8 AM, I edit a video, render it, make a thumbnail. Just about 1 PM is when I finish. So right there is about five hours of my time for a video that pulls 25 to 30, $40, right? So this is a hobby for me at the, at the moment. But like I said, us content creators, we only play for an hour to four hours max. And then we take what we got and we put it into a video. Sometimes Jenks will play for five hours and get three videos or he'll play for five hours and get nothing. That's what happens being a content creator. That goes for everyone. I temp every single content creator. Now, the reason you haven't seen me playing with them much is because they're busy. You know, Jenks goes to the gym. I have a life as well. You know, I have a house. Uh, I have to take care of my mom and her health conditions. She's, you know, able to go to work and do her things, but I still have to drive her to places and stuff. Uh, she's had breast cancer and skin cancer a bunch of times. That's why I have psoriasis and all that. And I'm not looking for sympathy when I'm saying that. I'm just saying I care about my family, so I spend a lot of time with them. I only play Apex about three, four hours a day, and I have Sunday off. So we don't play 24-7 all day. Now, streamers like Dalton and Rogue and them that are top predators, yeah, they play, you know, a lot because you have to play a lot to be a pred. It takes time. Ranked has been something that has been repetitive for me for 10 seasons. The first five seasons, I was pred every single time and it just got very repetitive. I hit pred on PS4 and PC in season five and I was like, I'm done. I'm over it. It's, you know, it's too repetitive, especially with Kings Canyon being in the split four times. If you guys like it, that's, you know, your opinion. But personally, I don't like it because the POIs are so close. And I know we're kind of drifting off a little bit, but I'm going to bring it back and just say, what are you, hey, 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 Kitty, what are you doing? So I'm going to swift it back really quick and talk about my YouTube channel. So you are probably actually seeing this video for the first time on my channel for months, right? Because it's about sore, which means a lot of people are going to click it because they're curious. And 
the 155,000 people that cannot see my videos because they're not getting notified, that's you. You are now seeing my video. So uh, late 2020, I started to go into a deep, deep depression. I was very suicidal. I just wanted to, uh, you know, put myself in a death box IRL to, to sum it up. And my content lacked a lot of entertainment, but I was still pulling 100 and 200,000 views a video, which is really confusing because that was when my content was terrible. So yeah, YouTube gave me statistics, which you guys already know about 0.6% of everyone who has my notifications on, which is 155,000 are getting notifications. The other 154,000 aren't getting a single notification, can't see my channel on their homepage, can't see my channel unless they manually search it. So if that is you, there is only one solution to that and that's you have to manually look up my channel every day and watch my videos until they go on your homepage or you have to go and join my Discord, discord.gg backslash Kobe and in the announcements, it posts my video and live streams so you never miss content from me if you're a true fan. Now. The real reason I'm sad and hurt about this is because I lost half of my community and I appreciate and loved my community. I grew all the way to 400K and I hit the fattest roadblock you can ever think of. And it, it truly, truly hurts to know that, you know, all this hard work I put in was taken away in second. And I noticed it in March, the views went down, 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 down. And I get comments on every video saying, I didn't get notifications. I haven't seen a video from you in months. I'll post pictures so you guys know. But as of the past three months or two months, I'd say all my videos have been very entertaining. They have contacts with it and I make them eight to 10 minutes. I'm making the video shorter. I'm making the intro shorter. I lost sponsors. I lost a lot of things due to my YouTube channel. So me working this hard, I almost have a thousand uploads on my channel, a thousand working this hard all the way to 400 K just to pull six to 7,000 views. I'm still very thankful for that. But if you're starting to click on, you know, the six hours it takes to edit, I just wish more people could see it. I know the modded lobby videos and all that are what's popping right now, but I'm not going to go download R5 and, you know, do modded server 30 second clips. That's not what I am. That's not my channel. Now, late 2020, that was not me. I hated that person. That was not me at all. If I was rude to you in Twitch, that like I looked at myself in the mirror every day and hated my reflection. I hated it, hated it. I even messaged iTemp and a lot of other people and asked them, be honest, do you do you hate me or do you you know consider me a friend and i temp re reassured me that we were friends and others did as well and others didn't and um i'm okay with that so there's your answer about you know why i haven't played with jenks and stuff he's very busy and so am i it's kind of hard to get together plus he's been playing ranked with you know uh his teammates you know i respect jenks i respect every single person that i've met and i'm extremely thankful for everyone i've met in the apex community i'm not leaving this channel is never going to be anything but apex and i just wanted to update you guys about soar my channel how to actually see my videos because like i said youtube is ghosting 155 or 154,000 people they cannot see my videos at all i've had a lot of people say you fell off your content's just not it anymore but that's one or two comments while hundreds are saying your content has gotten better we appreciate all the work you put in and those comments make my day because i have been putting in more effort into editing i i'm not just uploading daily anymore if i don't have an entertaining video for that day i'm not going to upload it it's simple as that so I just wanted to make this video to explain everything and I'm sorry that it's long. Hopefully you listened all the way to the end. Uh, the best way to help me grow is to manually search my channel. If you haven't been seeing my videos, join my discord and check out the announcement section or you can join in on the weekly apex coin giveaways that I do every single week. You can look for players. You can self promote. My discord is a very non-judgmental and amazing community. We have 8,000 people, thousand active people. And, uh, I talk in there. You can DM me anything you want in there. 
please don't spam call me and you know do anything out of the ordinary but besides that i hope you guys understand i hope you guys enjoy the video um like i said to wrap it up there's no bad blood with sore i love daz crew and mac they've done so much for me they're amazing people um you guys know i play with drain nilla he, he's in sore i think daz is doing a good job at you know picking up new content creators i really appreciate each and every single one of you guys that have stuck through thick and thin and uh have been here for me i know exactly who you guys are i read every single comment every single one and I truly appreciate it. Another easy question that you guys ask are my settings. I just run 5.4 standard default 110 field of view. That's it. So if you want to ever come into my live streams, I have a point system where you can save up points and get free Apex coins, money, a PS5, Xbox, stuff like that. If you ever want to just tune into a stream for a little bit, all you have to do is just ask a mod how the point system works or my discord says it as well my live streams are very entertaining and i try to you know make you guys laugh as much as possible which happens and uh there's a lot of generous and awesome people in my twitch community and my youtube community so hopefully you know one of these days you guys check me out on twitch i can explain more if you have any other questions but with that being said like i said thank you guys so much for being here for me i'm thankful to still be in this position no matter how many views i have as long as i have my community i'm happy and the only reason i'm making this video is because of novel he is a youtuber with 12.5k subs he made a video called the kobe apex legend situation these youtubers making videos about me and saying that i'm wholesome and genuine really makes me happy because i truly think i am a genuine person but say bye 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 all right guys i'll see you in tomorrow's video unless i decide to upload another video today again thank you so much